Sfumato is the idea of uh, um, developing um, a foggy atmosphere, or uh, uh, the, the, the actual word means from smoke. It's an Italian uh, term that means from smoke. So um, what we want to do in this painting here is essentially create a sense of um, very uh, soft edges uh, in most of the painting with a bit of hard edges where the focal point is. I'm using a color that um, uh, that's very interesting. It's a uh, iron oxide with uh, uh, ultramarine blue, and um, this color will change um, uh, would change hues as as it dries and become much more blue uh, as it do as it does that. Um, Again, notice how much water I'm using. I'm using a lot of water, um, trying to get a very soft feel to the whole painting. I really want the whole paper to get wet and um, and and uh, absorb a lot of paint and a lot of water and become very soft. As an initial wash, this is okay. I really want to highlight the horizon line a bit more. So what I do is I drag my brush along it and here what i'm doing is adding uh, a bit more color as long as everything is wet it's okay to continue to add uh, because it will soften the edges will soften they won't stay hard um, if your paper is getting dry uh, it becomes very dangerous to uh, try to add color uh, because um, essentially what will happen is you'll develop hard edges uh, to these colors if that happens um, you know what you want to do is you want to go back and um, soften those edges uh, if you can and re-wet the whole paper if necessary uh, this um, color is granulating which means that uh, if i were to re-wet it completely uh, it would um, it would just melt away it would uh, fall off the paper um, because it's not a staining color, so it doesn't stay, it doesn't stay in place. Um, but um, I'll try to not do that. Um, here I'm turning the paper a, a bit so that uh, turning the angle a bit so that the uh, uh, the colors flow. Um, it, it, not downwards towards the water, but uh, more out, outside the picture so that I can re, um, remove them. Um, I really don't want this color to uh, permeate down to the bottom. Um, I want my water to remain uh, lighter, uh, lighter in value. Notice here I'm putting back some more color and notice how it's the paper is completely wet so that edge is getting diffused. It's not becoming hard edge uh, when I uh, when I add the color again just waiting for things to settle down and dry don't try to um, dry your paper with uh, a hair dryer uh, when you're working uh, in this method you really want it to softly dry on its own and uh, for the pigment to settle into the paper properly. If you try to dry it uh, using a hair dryer, what will happen is it will uh, it will eventually just um, sink into the paper and the colors won't come out nicely. I've let the paper dry and now I want to put the details and essentially it's a um, it's a person and boat fishing. So I want to make sure that I put my details nicely I'm putting the figure in right now always remember that um, the back is especially if we're sitting down like uh, like a fisherman would be the, the back is a bit more hunched than the front uh, of, uh, of a figure so just make give it a nice curve and it will come out uh, the, the the figure will come out really good the other thing that i'd like you to keep in mind is when you're doing a um, a boat uh, canoe or any kind of boat 
keep that boat uh, first of all make it a good length it's usually a bit longer than we instinctively think it is uh, so measure before you do that and then keep it as shallow as possible uh, there's a tendency again it's it's a instinctive tendency for us to make the hull of the boat a bit uh, higher than it needs to be um, I'm wetting this area a bit so that I can put some more color into it uh, but I really want to make sure that I don't make the hull too big because if I do it'll just look very artificial it won't look right it look like the boat is sitting on top of the water and not in the water so we want to make sure that our boat um, or canoe is sitting inside the water and not sort of hovering over it um, I would say you know think that uh, your uh, the person in your canoe is um, is reaching out to touch the uh, the water uh, if the hull is too big they'll end up um, toppling over um, if they reach out for the water so just make sure that you have a nice uh, th shallow um, boat and that one edge of the boat is a uh, hard edge uh, towards the top and uh, the part that is um, in the water is soft edge so that it just can um, disappear into the water as opposed to just having a hard edge there here I'm doing some uh, some more value changes to the bottom of the of the uh, of the painting uh, allowing this water to look a bit more uh, the darker value so that it sort of hugs the paper for me and allows a, a movement into uh, the painting again make sure your edges are sharp this is the only sharp part of the painting so let's just make it sharp uh, sharp enough I'm gonna let this uh, this thing dry a bit and uh, and see where it goes again don't try to dry um, a painting like this with uh, with a hairdryer just allow it to be um, leave it alone go do something else and come back um, in a few minutes and it'll be dry enough uh, to work on I'm gonna go ahead and um, and do the uh, um, fishing rod right now I'm using a, a needle um, brush it's a very thin uh, rigger brush with a bit of a reservoir at the top of it uh, that's very helpful so I'll be using that to draw just a quick line up uh, for the rod just like that and for the line um, I'm actually going to be using a um, a blade to scratch the paper uh, to do the line be careful when you do that that your paper is completely bone dry before you do that you really don't want to um, scratch a wet piece of paper you will end up with uh, a bulk of, uh, of paper uh, being removed as opposed to just uh, a thin line so try as much as possible to let this thing dry completely before you do it um, begin the scratching at the tip of your rod if you decide to do that and then pull it towards where it needs to be so here I'm taking a pen knife I'm starting at the tip of the rod and pulling back and that's it that's all I need to do don't try to do it um, another time it'll just create a, a, a different line so you just want to leave one line um, and um, and allow it to be so here it is completely dry um, and I'm just going to take the tape off so we can see uh, the, the painting almost framed I hope you've enjoyed it uh, please try this one and uh, send me a uh, an image of uh, your work